It's in our juicy oak and vanilla flavor profile with a double cask maturation and the second cask being a first fill ex Oloroso hogshead. Let's find out why. Hello, I'm Scott with the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society and you're looking at cask 80.31 in Super Bowl enjoyment. This is an 11 year old Speyside bottle at 58.5% ABV. It's in our juicy oak and vanilla profile with a double cask maturation. The first cask was an ex-bourbon hogshead, and the second cask, a first fill ex-Oloroso hogshead. Let's get into it. Our color here, very dark. Eight years in the ex-bourbon hogshead and then transferred to the first fill Oloroso. Great color influence on this from that Oloroso cask. I'm curious as to why this is in the Juicy Oak and Vanilla profile. On the nose, definitely toasted vanillas, fruits, darker fruits. More showing here than when I had first opened the bottle. Brown sugars, little syrupy, caro syrup, pancakes, dry wood, and a little curry powder. Huh. Hmm. Spicy, cinnamons, nutmegs, sweet. Let's get in on the palate. Cheers. Juicy oak and vanilla flavor profile all over right up front. Definite vanillas, definite fruits, lighter citruses, and then it transitions uh, on the back end, on the finish, into darker brown sugars, darker fruits. Some of those Oloroso notes showing toasted nuts, toasted notes and toasted nuts as well. Spicy, the cinnamons, the nutmegs, cardamons, tropical fruits, juicy fruit gum, citrus notes, toasted bread, cinnamon butter, honey, a lot of nice, sweeter, kind of darker tones as well, but then also some lighter citrus notes, nice vanillas, nice oaks, a drop of water on here. Nice dichotomy, if you would, of kind of two different profiles, that juice, really lighter bourbon hogshead influence, and then a nice sherry one. Um, almost, almost feels like a blend, uh, a blended whiskey where they've taken some uh, just ex-bourbon cask whiskey, blended it with some sherry cask whiskey. You get nice, light, citrusy, uh, ex-bourbon notes, and then the darker Oloroso notes as well. A very nice mingling here, you would say. As dark as the color is on this, I would expect much darker Oloroso notes. Uh, they're just, they're not there. There's nice Oloroso influence here. Uh, almost feels just more like I say, ex-bourbon cast, citruses, vanillas. Then you start to move into some toasted notes. You move into the, the darker fruits, the Oloroso no notes on the, on the back end. Just great transitions with this one throughout. Very interesting, very intriguing. And we've seen much darker, uh, deeper uh, influence from Oloroso cask, especially after three years. The color on this one makes you think it's really gonna be a blast of Oloroso, uh, but it's not. Uh, like I say, a very nice marriage here, very nice mingling of, of uh, the two casks. Mm. Mm. Nothing really more with water showing like this neat, liked it with one drop of water. Uh, no more showing itself than, than what wasn't before the water. Let's look at tasting notes on the bottle. Cask 80.31 in Super Bowl enjoyment. Sweet, fruity, sun-soaked raisins and candied roasted nuts while to taste a jamun cooler. After reduction, strawberry tarts and custard slices. Cask 80.31 is available on the website for $125. Please click the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and leave a comment. It all helps the channel. And remember, Scotch Malt Whiskey Society whiskeys are not for swigging, glugging, or knocking back. Please drink responsibly. Cheers.